I'm gonna tell you how to overcome the fear of vlogging in public, and this is also going to help you overcome camera shyness in general, and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos, and all types of other YouTube-related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, there's no doubt that vlogging in public can be extremely intimidating because you have all these things going on in your head like, oh, well, what if this person thinks I'm an idiot because I'm vlogging? What if this person thinks that I'm saying something stupid? What if people start gathering around while I'm making a video and they start looking at me, then what's gonna happen? And let's be honest, some people are gonna think that. And if you're wanting to vlog out in public, but you just can't overcome that right now, I'm actually gonna tell you some little hacks that you can do to make the whole process easier on yourself. The very first thing is to record your videos in clips. Because if you record your videos in clips, kind of like I'm doing throughout this, you don't have to stay there for a long period of time and have people looking at you for the entire time. So you can just record it, hit it, get it, go. Doing it that way can also help you organize clips when you're putting your projects together, especially if you're doing like travel vlogs or just day-to-day -day life vlogs and you're not giving tips like I am, it can really make a difference in being able to keep everything organized so that it makes your work easier. And another thing that really helps me when it comes to doing this kind of stuff in public, and it might help you as well, is think of the people that are watching the video more than you're thinking of the people that are around you. Here's what I mean. Of course, you wanna be respectful to the people in your real world environment. However, one thing that you can focus on that has been a huge help for me is think of what people are getting from watching your videos. Think of the viewers that are watching your videos. If you're doing any type of content where you might need to be outside to do it, there's a really good chance you're adding some type of cool or unique value. For example, I'm sharing tips for YouTube. If you're doing travel vlogs, you're showing people your experiences in places they might not ever see. If you're doing normal vlogs where you're just around your hometown or whatever, in that case, you're also showing people insight into your life that they might be able to gain some type of inspiration from or that they might be able to get an additional thing that is of value to them. Whereas the people that are around you, if you weren't vlogging, you would just be walking past them without any communication whatsoever. And real quick, Visually, this is like a really cool looking intersection. So I just wanna show it to you really quick so you can check it out. We've got like some of the stuff going down the hill. We've got like a handful of roads kind of merging here. Well, it looks pretty cool, check it out. The next thing to remember is that really, Nobody cares. I mean, I'm sure you don't have any problems taking selfies when you're out with buddies or anything like that. Like really nobody cares. It's normal these days for everybody to be making videos, everybody to be taking photos wherever they're at. As a matter of fact, there's people over here right now taking photos. And of course, practice. If you're not practicing, well, guess what? You're not gonna get better. So if this is something that you wanna do, well, of course, the more that you practice at it, the better that you're gonna get at it, the more comfortable that you're going to get at it, and the better you're actually going to be at it if you just practice it and you practice getting out there and getting over that fear. Another thing that you can do if you are intimidated by blogging in public is you can also get off the beaten path a little bit so that you're still outside, you're still out in the world, so to speak, but while you're out in the world, you're a little bit off the beaten path like you can see right now. Like I've got a bunch of people over here, but like behind me, there's not many people and most of the people over here, they're just focused on eating in the restaurant and they don't really care what I'm doing if they even notice me at all. Kind of like where I'm at right now, for example, and that kind of brings me to the next thing is, most people, they don't care. Like, it's, it's usually us that has the biggest problem with all of this when we're going around, we're like, oh, what are people gonna think about me? But people are out doing their own thing. If they're outside, they're trying to enjoy whatever it is that they're doing outside. They're not really caring about all of the people that are doing stuff around them unless it's actually bothering them in some way. But in most cases, as long as you're not getting people on camera, nobody's really going to care. The next thing that you can do is if you are worried about vlogging in public and you have a fear about vlogging in public, get fired up, get excited about what it is that you're doing and just that excitement can really help you focus on what it is that you're doing and kind of make everything else that's around you going on, make all of that stuff kind of fade away. Now I put together a whole playlist of additional videos that will help you overcome camera shyness. You can watch that here right now. And to learn more ways to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.